Hello class 9. Today we are going to discuss about the different kinds of cell and organisms according to the number of cells present in them. If any organism is made up of only one cell then it is called a single celled organism for example bacteria, yeast, amoeba. If any organism is made up of a few number of cells just as a few hundred cells or a few thousand cells then it is called a few celled organism for example Spirogyra vulvox. If any organism is made up of millions and billions of cells then the organism is termed as multicellular organism. All the evolved higher plants and animals are multicellular for example human beings, mango, neem, lion, tiger, cat etc. The smallest cell in the world is bacteria whose diameter is about 0.3 to 5.0 micrometer and in case of human body the smallest cell is red blood cells which is about 7 micrometer in size. The longest cells are nerve cells in animals and flowing fiber cells of china grass. The largest cells are birds eggs among which the ostrich egg is the largest single cell cells again can be of different shapes some may be disc like some may be polygonal could be rectangular could be cuboid some are thread like so all these different kind of cells are found in nature here are different figures given where you can easily see the different kinds of cell according to their shape the epithelial cells are rectangular or you can say cylindrical in shape human blood cells are disc like cartilage cells are void in shape in the similar way nerve cells are thread like smooth muscle cells are spindle shaped plant cells are almost rectangular the amoeba cells are irregular in shape with pseudopodia present in them the pseudopodia are the false feet with the help of which they move from one place to another so human blood cells are circular or biconcave white blood cells are amoeboid in shape nerve cells are long muscle cells are long and contractile guard cells here the guard cells are bean shaped so according to different shapes present in them they can be categorized accordingly here the picture of an animal cell and a plant cell is given which is seen under ordinary microscope this is the general structure of animal and plant cells animal cell being almost round or oval in shape whereas plant cell is rectangular there are different type of living parts which are found inside the cell 
they are cell membrane mitochondria ribosomes lysosomes golgi apparatus endoplasmic reticulum nuclear membrane nucleus chromatin fibers cell wall so there are many type of organelles which are found inside the animal or plant cell among these there are some organelles which are found only in plant cell and some only in animal cell for example the cell wall and chloroplast are only found in plant cell whereas the centrosome is only found in animal cell the vacuole of plant cell are generally bigger than the vacuoles present in animal cell because the amount of food or any storage substance to be kept inside the cell is more in case of plant cell than in case of animal cell so vacuoles are bigger in plant cells the plasma membrane the cytoplasm and nucleus these are the three essential parts of a cell whereas others are supplementary the cell membrane covers the cell and acts as selectively permeable membrane and due to which it allows only certain substances to go in and out of the cell and prevents others from going inside or outside the cell and hence the name is selectively permeable cell wall been permeable in nature it is a non living substance made up of cellulose whereas the cell membrane was made up of lipid and protein cell wall is made up of cellulose it is a hard rigid structure and thus it allows most of the substances to go in and out of the cell so cell wall is freely permeable whereas the cell membrane is selectively permeable the nucleus is the brain of the cell which controls all the activities inside the cell and cytoplasm is the substance which carries all the cell organelles in it the cytoplasm along with the nucleus is termed as protoplasm which is the living matter of the cell in case of plant cell this protoplasm is known as protoplast the different cell organelles have different kind of functions in the body the ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis so it can be said that they are the protein factory of the cell the mitochondria is the site of energy production or energy liberation and hence it is known as power house of the cell the golgi body in case of animal cell and dictyosomes in case of plant cells both are the same thing but in case of animal cell it is called golgi body or golgi apparatus and in case of plant cell it is termed as dictyosomes they are the delivery system of the cell particularly the secretion of enzymes hormones etc is concerned with golgi apparatus the lysosomes are the intracellular digestive centers of the cell 
they sometimes destroy the cell by the enzymes they secrete and in this way they are called as suicide bag of the cell so they ultimately destroy and digest the foreign substances but sometimes their own secretion leads to death of the cell and hence they are called as suicide bags centrosome in animal cell is the site of cell division where cell division starts plastids are only found in animal cells plastid could be green colored then it is termed as chloroplast it could be other than green color then it is called as chromoplast and if it is colorless then it is called leucoplast the green colored plastid is found in green leaves or green stem the other type of other colored plastids other than green that is the chromoplasts are found in colored parts of the plant body such as flowers and the colorless plastids that is leucoplast are found in the roots whose main function is storage the endoplasmic reticulum acts as the support system of the cell and acts as framework of the cell they help in transport of substances from one part of the cell to the other there are certain non living substances found in the cell like granules starch granules glycogen granules fats certain food substances these all non living substances are found in the vacuoles which act as the storage house of the cell the nucleus is the most important part of the cell and it is termed as the brain of the cell because it plays important part in different kind of functions which are performed by the cell organelles and moreover it also is one of the important part taking place in cell division all the hereditary factors that is genes chromosomes are found in the nucleus and thus they also help in the hereditary information transmission from one generation to another the nucleus is covered by a membrane called nuclear membrane and inside the nucleus there is a dense part called nucleoplasm the thread like structures found in them are the chromatin fibers these chromatin fibers during cell division become thick and ribbon like and then they are termed as chromosomes the chromosome number is fixed for different say, organisms like honey bee contains 32 chromosomes lion 38 dog 78 chimpanzee 48 human beings 46 so the chromosome number is actually not responsible for the body development or the size of the body actually the chromosomes are responsible for different kind of features or genetic characters which the organism bears due to the number of chromosomes they bear certain features in them the body size is not a factor which is determined by the chromosome as you can see the chromosome number in dog is 
वेर एज द क्रोमोसोम नंबर इन लायन इज ओनली थर्टी एट इवन दो द क्रोमोसोम नंबर इज लेस इन लायन द साइज ऑफ लाइन इज मच बिगर देन अ डॉग इट इज मोर मस्कुलर मोर कार्निवोरस देन डॉग सो वन मस्ट नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज दैट द क्रोमोजोम नंबर डिपेंड्स डिटरमाइंस द साइज ऑफ द बॉडी इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सेल देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड द मेन फंक्शन एसोसिएटेड विथ दोज पार्ट ऑफ द सेल Thank you